friends, Beth of Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. And today I am going to show you my twist on this cute little elephant border that everybody has seen a thousand times and nobody's ever been able to figure out how to do it. I found one of my old notebooks and I was working on this a few years back and I only had to do a couple of tweaks on his trunk in order to get him to look beautiful because isn't he so cute? I love him. I'm going to try to show you this is best as I possibly can. This is the one that I tweaked out. It's pretty much what I would consider reversible. He has two ears, but you can leave him like this, facing forward. And he looks like an elephant. Or you can flatten him out, and he still looks like an elephant. He's so cute. All of these are Karen Simply Soft. And this one I had just some swatches made. This is my Jacob's Ladder. You can find this tutorial also. This is just gray and gray and yellow, but the color showed up so nicely I wanted to do the yellow. I thought it was cute. This one is Karen Simply Soft Paints Baby Brights. I have just a little bit of this left because it's so hard to find. So I just made myself a little swatch. And this one I think is called Lavender Blue. It's a perfect match for this little this little blip of purple right in here. So this is what I'm going to make him out of today. So what I suggest to get a nice tight stitch, flick this guy or this guy. I'm using a three and a half. This is my three and a half prim. This one's a baby too, but I don't get to use him very often. So I'm very excited about that. So we're using a three and a half, even though I used a five to put the swatch together with the same yarn, I'm still going down to three and a half. Every elephant is 10 stitches. I made this 30 wide, I believe. And I put a nice border all the way around so it's easy to see. I'm working with this purple on white so we can see what's going on. So you just figure out where you want to start and fasten on. And then you want to do slip stitches. One, two, three, and four. Four slip stitches to start. One, two, three, four. And now in this very same stitch, no chaining, nothing. We're just going to do a double crochet. So yarn over and in the same stitch where we just did our very last slip stitch, we are going to do a double crochet. And another double crochet. So there's two legs. So you've seen some of these pictures where they have like six or eight legs. I just didn't like the look. Now we're going to chain two, skip two, one, two, and in this third stitch over, I want two more double crochets. So there's his other legs. So we just started right here. We're right here. Now we want to chain one, turn our work. You will turn your work a lot. So if it's a huge blanket, you might want to get yourself all comfy cozy on the couch or on a big table because you will be flipping this around a lot. And so now we did our chain one and we turned our work and our very first stitch that we have right here, we're going to double crochet. And in the next stitch, double crochet. In this chain two space, I want two double crochets. And then our last two stitches you'll be able to find right back here. Double crochets in both of those as well. And there's our last guy right there. So we did six double crochets. Six double crochets here. There were two in our first two stitches, two in the chain space, and two in our last two stitches. So you can see he's starting to look like something. Chain three loosely, so we have to work back into the chain. One, two, three, and then come down to our very first stitch. So you can see where the purple was on the other side. I want to slip stitch into the, where you can see here was the original stitch on the blanket, which is a white stitch here. I want to slip stitch into him. And now that's his tail. So we just slip stitch that very simply. I'm going to turn our work again so we can work down this chain in those back bumps, you want to work two. Because we chained three, so we'll end up putting two slip stitches 
down our tail, one in each back bump. There we go. So now our tail is done. So again, that was on the chain. Turn the chain over and do two slip stitches up that, up your chain. Now we're going to work back over here. We're going to go across his body again. His very first stitch is a single crochet. And the next four are half double crochets. So let's yarn over, pull through everybody. Yarn over, pull through, pull through all three loops. There's two, half double crochets, there's three, and half double crochet number four. We have one stitch left. We're going to start making his head. So we want to do is chain one, and I'm going to put a marker here so it's really easy for everybody to find. Eventually you'll catch it, but it'll be really easy for you to find this way. And I'm making nice tight stitches, so we don't want to lose our stitches. So this is the very last stitch I have right here. We're going to put in two triple crochets. So it's two yarn overs. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then pull through the last two. And then we want to do that one more time in the exact same spot. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And we have those two in the exact same spot. So there's our spot that we did our chain. Here's our marker in that little space so we don't lose it. And then there's two triple crochets in our very last stitch. Now we want to turn our work and slip stitch into this spot that's marked just so that you can find it easily. There's our slip stitch. So now we're working on his head right here and this is their spot that we marked. We can take this marker out now. We don't need to know that one anymore. So after we do that slip stitch, chain one and we're going to put our marker back on that chain spot because we're going to need to work into that in a minute and it is a, gets a little bit tricky. That's the only tricky spot, but you'll find it. After you do a couple elephants, you'll figure it out. So now we're going to turn our work one more time. And we're going to work into the first triple crochet that we made, which is this one. You can tell it's the closest. Right here. And we are going to do along the lines of a, uh, like a crocodile stitch. We'll work down this side right here, and then we're going to work up the other side so that we can make his head. So what we are going to do is, in our very first stitch right here, we're going to work around the post of our first triple crochet, and he gets a single crochet, a half double crochet, two double crochet, and two three triple crochet, so yarn over twice, and we'll pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, that was our first one, we want three, all of these are around that same post. So there's all three of those. Right now we want to finish off this ear. We have our three triple crochets. We're going to finish off this ear just like we did at the beginning, but backwards so there's two double crochets, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. So one ear is done. Just like we do on a crocodile stitch, we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work so that we can get to this other stitch right here. We want to work around this post now exactly the same as we did with the first ear. So it was a single crochet, a half double crochet, two doubles, three triples, triples, 
two doubles. And this is all around the same post. There's our one half double and one single to finish it off. So there's both of our ears right there. And now we marked this stitch because we need to get back into this little chain one that we did and it's almost all but disappeared because of our so many stitches in our ears. But since I marked it, we'll be able to find it. You want to slip stitch into this space. So you can see right here and just slip stitch the ears together. Now chain four, one, two, three, four. We go down to the bottom where we did our chain one in between our ears, just like we do with the crocodile stitch. And we want to slip stitch into that space as well. So you can see now his little face. It's just a little tiny piece. Nothing fancy right there. We did our slip stitch. Now we're going to make his trunk. So there's our four. We did our slip stitch. Now I want to chain eight loosely for the trunk. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now turn our trunk over and find our back bumps and slip stitch into each one of those. You should end up with seven. One, two, three, four. Six. Here's my last one right here, slip stitch number seven. So there's his trunk. Now we want to spin around and find the bottom of his little neck right here. So underneath the ears, right by where we did our chain one. We're just going to slip stitch into that little opening. Be very easy to spot. And now everything is connected. So we just want to go down to his first leg and go do a slip stitch around the post and go down to the bottom where we attach to the blanket and slip stitch in that same stitch. And we're almost done with the first elephant. We're going to slip stitch into the next two. And now you want to have a little bit of wiggle room in here because you're going to have to work with his work with his trunk. So I want to go through the trunk like the third stitch back, one, two, three, our third slip stitch back. Our loop is still on our hook. And go through this stitch right here and through the next stitch on the blanket and slip stitch through everything. This one get, gets a little tricky. I'm trying to keep it on the screen. And there we go. Now he's done. And you can see we have one complete elephant. So even if you wanted to do just one elephant, just found something cute like a little lovey or anything, he is totally done. But we're going to do this one more time. I promise you this is easier than it, easier than it seems. I'm going to go a little bit faster this time, so you can try to keep up. Okay, we're going to do four slip stitches. One, two, three, and four. In that same stitch, we're going to do two double crochet. One, two. Those are two legs. Chain two for his tummy, skip two, and double crochet into that third stitch over. Chain one, turn our work. And we're going to work back down his body. We're going to do two double crochets here, two in the chain space, and two back here. We did our chain one. There's double crochet number one in the first stitch and a double crochet in this stitch. Two double crochets in this chain two space around his tummy. Two 
double crochet in the next, and double crochet in the last, right there. Now we're going to do his tail. So we're going to chain loosely three, one, two, and three. We'll go behind where we connected his trunk. See this stitch right here. We want to slip stitch behind the trunk right there. Right behind where we connected his trunk. Slip stitch. Now his tail is connected and we'll turn our work again. Now we're going to work back up again to work into our chain three. So we'll end up with two slip stitches in the back bumps of our of our tail chain. Now we get to work across his back again. First one is a single crochet, four half double crochets, And we'll chain one. We can put a marker on it. And we want to watch that one in a second. And in our very last stitch right here, there's one stitch left. We want two triples. This is where we're going to work the ears, which is very similar to working a crocodile stitch, except it's bigger. Yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And turn our work and slip stitch into this spot that we marked to close up his head. Right there. Now I want to chain one and we want to mark that one so we don't lose it because that chain one space is going to disappear very easily with all these stitches that we're going to do for his ears. Turn it again and we go to the first triple crochet that we did which is this one. It's closest. You can see this is the closest one. So we do a single crochet and a half double, two doubles, three triples, two doubles, a half double, and a single. So there's ear number one. Turn our work so we can get to the other post. And there's our other post waiting. It's just waiting to make another ear. So we do the same thing. It goes single, single crochet, half double crochet, two doubles, Oops. and two, three triples, Two doubles, a half double, and a single crochet. There we go. Now we find our spot because this almost always will disappear on you. So it's easy, just easy enough to have a stitch marker around or any piece of an extra piece of yarn, something so that you can find this spot because you want to go through and slip stitch right there. That just closes up his ears, brings everything together. We can take this one out now so it doesn't make any more noise. I'm going to do chain one, 
two, three, and four for his little face and attach it down where we did our chain one in between our ears. Chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Turn our trunk over and do a slip stitch in the back bump of every one of our available stitches. So you should have seven slip stitches all the way down his trunk, or back up his trunk, I guess, and finish our back bump slip stitches. Number six, and number seven. Now in order to finish that off, I'm going to turn his head, go right underneath where we did all of those ears, right at the top of his feet, right here. There's a space right here, it's easy to find, and slip stitch. So now everything is connected and his head is closed. Slip stitch around his front leg post. Slip stitch into the base stitch on the blanket. And you're good. There's his head. I want to slip stitch along the blanket twice. There's one and two. And now we have to work through his trunk. Go through the third stitch on his trunk, right here, loops on my hook, third stitch, and then the next stitch on the blanket, and slip stitch through everything. And there's elephant number two. We're going to make one more, I'll do that one even a little bit faster. See? He's adorable. Cute, cute, cute. Cute in every color. I love it. I think he's just a doll. He's just adorable. Be the cutest baby blanket. You can make a super simple baby blanket and then put this border on it and it's going to look super fancy. So there's our little guys. We make one more. So remember we start out with slip stitch times four. One, two, three, and four. In this same space, we want to do two double crochets. Those are legs. Chain two, skip two, two more double crochets, four, two more legs. Chain one, turn our work. Now we're going to work on this along his back on his tummy. We're going to have six double crochets all the way across. There's our first stitch. And our next stitch. Two double crochet around his tummy in that chain two space. And then we have two more left. And there's our last stitch right there. Double crochet. Now we'll make his tail. Chain three loosely. One, two, three. Jump over to here where we attached his trunk from number two. We want to use the stitch right behind his trunk to slip stitch our tail. And turn your work again so you can work up his tail, work up that tail in the back bumps. Just do a couple slip stitches. One and two. Now we're back on his body. We have six, six stitches here. The first one is a single crochet. The next four are half double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Now is when it's time to start working on his head. So we're going to put in a chain one and we'll mark that so we can find it. And in this very last stitch that we have on his body, we want two triple crochets. Now 
both of them in the same stitch, which is going to turn out very similar to a crocodile stitch. Turn your work so you can slip stitch into this marked area to close that up. Boom. Now we can take this one out because we're going to chain one and this is the one that really needs to be marked. Maybe I'll use the brighter color. So just leave him dangle. Spin again. So we want to work our first ear into the first triple crochet that we made. So again that was a single, a half double crochet, two doubles, three triples, two doubles, a half double, and a single crochet. That's ear number one. Chain one, spin around so we can work our other post. Going around our triple crochet post, single crochet, half double crochet, two doubles, three triples, two doubles. All around the same post, remember. A half double and a single crochet to finish off that ear. Now to close up our head and get our ears attached to each other. There's our marked stitch. That's the one we need to try to find. That's why I mark it because it's so easy to lose. We want to slip stitch into that space and now you can take this out. Don't need it anymore. So there's his head. Now we just make his little face. Chain four. One, two, three, and four. Slip stitch into the bottom, into the chain space that we put in between his ears down at the bottom. Slip stitch. Loosely chain eight for a trunk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Turn your chain over and slip stitch in all the bumps. You should end up with seven slip stitches back up to his face. Three, four, five, six, and number seven. I'm going to turn this a little bit so you can find this spot right under his neck. It's right underneath the bottom of his ears, right there, and slip stitch. Slip stitch around the front leg post and slip stitch into the base of those feet right where it is actually part of the blanket and slip stitch there. We're almost done. Two slip stitches along the blanket. We want to get his trunk connected. So we go through the third stitch. One, two, three. There's our third stitch. Loops on our hook. Went through the trunk. And then we're going to go through the next stitch on the blanket. Yarn over, pull through everything, slip stitch. And now you are done. And you get to the end like I am here. Just do a couple more slip stitches so that you can finish off your Mr. Elephant. Now I just have to make sure that he has his ears the way you want him to be. You want him to be folded out like this. With this guy, sure. Flat like this, that's all good too. see how easy that was. I promise you get the hang of it after you do the first couple. 
and then you can just finish off work all the way around like I did here and now we have elephant border isn't this so exciting so thanks for stopping by thank you for supporting my small business please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon thanks bye